Hello and welcome to this episode of UPB Outdoors. In this episode, I'm going to do a review on the jet boil cook stove. Enjoy this video. This is the jet boil stove. You can see it comes with the three fuel options, a 450 gram container, a 230 gram container, and a 100 gram container. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use the open one that I have, the UPB open container. This is a pretty cool little setup. Um, I had a customer show me, and I was shopping for a stove at a time, and I started looking into this, and I started liking, you know, some of what I was seeing. I'm going to go ahead and unpack it. Comes with a uh, silicone rubber top, and it does have a little sippy place so that once you've heated your water, your coffee, you can uh, sip right out of it. It also holds some of the heat in. Now I'm going to set this aside for a minute and unpack the rest of it. It comes with a stand to help um, stabilize the fuel canisters. So that if you have that little one, and it fits all three, and this is a little stand to stabilize. Next out is uh, a part I'm going to set aside again um, for a minute, and then our burner comes in packed. I don't know what thread size this is, but it's standard. I have another stove I'll show you guys sometime. I'll break out all the stoves. Um, they just don't make the thread anymore to it. And uh, it was a disappointment to me. It was a really nice little stove. Uh, the burner turns on and off uh, with this dial. And it also has a piezo lighter so that it will strike its own flame. The bottom of this uh, jet boil container has these heat sinks in them, and uh, that helps dissipate the heat up through the cup. And it just screws, um, locks onto the, the burner. Now, what is kind of neat about this, oh, let me back up a minute. Um, the cap on the bottom. It, its main reason is to protect uh, the bottom of the burner thing. There's a little bit of room in here. You could stash some salt and pepper or spices or something. Now, when I took this apart and was considering this review, um, I noticed... Oh, one more thing. This is exactly one cup. So you can use this for a measuring cup. And it has some incremental lines. Quarter cup, half cup, one cup. But when I was taking it apart, I found I had a little split in it. Um, that was very disappointing to me. Um, I didn't throw this away because I'm still going to use it to protect the bottom of my burner. Um, I went online, you can buy these things for five bucks, and there's a lot of negative reviews about it. Apparently these things break pretty frequently. I've had this for, for six or seven years with no issues, but I wasn't using it daily like a AT through hiker might. This is great for generally boiling water. Now it does have a fill mark in here. They only want you putting two cups of water in here uh, to begin with. And there is a marker line in it and it comes halfway. This whole thing's probably about four cups. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this back off. I was just competing with a backup alarm. I turn my gas on, hit the piezo lighter and, and turn it up. Now I'm going to put the top on so this water heats a little better. But what's really cool about the jet boil, their logo right here, it's got a heat sensitive uh, thing in there. So there's no gassing. Now we're just going to watch that and, and when my waters come to a boil, that'll have changed colors. It's 
see how the burner, all, all the heat is dissipated through the seat things through the burner. And I'm going to keep our eye on uh, that logo. I didn't put a timer on this. Oh, you see it's starting to turn color. It was hard to tell this on, but right now that logo has changed color. Okay, it's, it's orange from bottom to top. This water is at a full boil. I can go ahead and turn it off. Now the one part that I set aside a minute ago, somebody may have recognized it. It was a coffee press for the jet boil. So right now I can dump my coffee in here and then in the normal French press matter, go ahead and press my coffee. Now, one side note. The jet boil coffee press will fit a Pathfinder canteen cup. So you can use the same coffee press with your Pathfinder canteen cup and, and make coffee in it. French press style. Okay. I'm just going to put my lid on. Um, even though that's boiling hot uh, water, um, this neoprene protector on the outside keeps it uh, cool enough where you can handle your hot pot. Um, this is literally just off, and you can still see all those orange lines on there are uh, bright orange. That is a hot water. Now, the other part that I set aside, it has an extra burner adapter. You really shouldn't cook in your cup. It's basically for heating hot water, uh, ramen, anything you would do. But that little uh, adapter right there converts this so that you could put a fry pan or your bush pot on there and uh, use it conventionally. So you really shouldn't cook eggs and that kind of thing in your jet boil. You can heat water, do oatmeal, do grits. Um, you can get creative with it. But if you want to fry with it, you can with this system. You're not held hostage by uh, the jet boil cup. You can go ahead and use a bush pot or a frying pan and cook something more. In fact, uh, a bush pot very similar to this won the Scoutmasters cook-off at West Point Campery, and I forget what year it was. It was the year that they honored the 10th Mountain Division. And the meal that won that Scoutmasters cook-off was a rice and bean and chicken burrito. We'll have to do that recipe. So, all in all, this is a really neat cook system except for the bottom cup is kind of flimsy. I had it many years uh, without a problem. Um, when I went to pull it out this last time is when I found the crack, but there are a lot of negative reviews about this and they do sell the replacement ones. And who knows, maybe Jet Boils come up with a little more durable thing. Um, it is kind of flimsy. People are using it as a cereal bowl and I can see where it could break. All I ever used it for was to measure water and to protect the bottom of my burner. The jet boil cook system. I hope this is good information and I hope you can use this video to determine whether the jet boil is a good option for you. The jet boil packs up very nicely. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention is uh, the 100 gram fuel cylinder will fit inside, will fit inside the jet boil. 
so that so that this is your only package um, without that canister you've got some room to pack uh, some soap some sponge uh, a dishcloth you know something else in there um, so that does make a good hiking option and you can carry one less fuel Thank you for joining me on this episode of UPB Outdoors.